He's created many more shies and they're even more hilarious. With in good faith. It, you're Listen. you're not here in good faith for raising money for children. Okay. Over twenty thousand okay. children have been murdered and oh, so many so sad. So sad. You just don't care about you don't care about children. Do you know what happened on October seven? Do you know what, what you're saying? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what happened on October 7? That gives me the right to kill as many children as I want. <laughs> okay, thank you. Standing for, you're standing for rape. You women. There was a, literally, listen to me, listen there's to me, no... Please. She's wearing an IDF dog tag, by the way. Oh, but it's a big problem if I were to wave the Hezbollah flag, you know what I mean? Listen, listen. She's wearing an IDF dog tag, laughing about 20,000 murdered children. Hmm. But God forbid... God forbid you throw up the green Hamas banner. God forbid. Calm down, Hamas and Abi. Yeah, exactly. I was part of those. Uh, I was part of those tabling groups. She was insane. There was no documentation let of show, any rape. Let me show. You. I was there. I was there. I was in Gaza. I was there. I saw it. You're I saw Israeli. Israeli and you were I'm in Israeli. Gaza. I was That's in Gaza. That's just a lie. Please. Let, let me show you. I she was in Gaza on October seven. Wait, what? The fuck does she mean? What? I was there. I'll show you myself we're, there. We're literally with Listen. our organization. We are not allowed to. I know. I understand. With you. I understand. I don't want to talk to you. Please go away. I'm no, gonna I don't want to go away. She's like, uh -huh. <laughs> was she kidnapped? <laughs> yeah, they released her because she was annoying. <laughs> They're like, bro, bro, take this one back. <laughs> Ya Allah, bro, we don't want this one. <laughs> She's like, why is nobody kidnapping me? Excuse me. <laughs> we don't want this. <laughs> this is. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Listen, you're I'm just trying to understand. You're making me so uncomfortable with all your lies. Can you just Please explain to me away. what's going on here? What are you doing? You're raising... Oh Wait. Yeah. No, I'm really trying to understand. Have a good day. Have a good day. No, thank you. I'm having a great day. What is this? What are you doing? Trying to find... What? Uh, we're not engaging money? with you anymore. Why not? You're condescending. You're berating us. Stop. What's your name? Have a good day. You have no answer other than have a good day? Do you know what you're doing here? I, I really want to know. I want to know. I want to understand. Why are you doing that? What are you doing? If you, if you stop, that's like, he's not Arab. I don't care. Stop talking to him. Okay. We, we You're not Arab? Have you ever been in Israel? Have you ever been in Gaza? Have yes. you ever been? Have you? Yes. Where? Please, Please don't, don't talk to her anymore. Okay. She's an agitator. Am I what? Listen to me. Listen to me. I want to talk to you really from my heart. You're a woman. What you're doing here is supporting rape. You're supporting rape. I've seen it in my eyes. I've seen this. I've seen the ladies getting raped. I've seen it. Wait, what? <laughs> dude, dude, what is wrong with Israel defenders? They just like, they just make up, they hallucinate some of the most psychotic shit. Like, I've seen it with my eyes. <laughs> I promise. I'm not fantasizing about it. In it's eyes, real. You're, doing, you're on the wrong side of history. I'm so sorry to tell you that. I'm really sorry, but this is just ridiculous. You don't know what's going on there. I don't want to go away. I just want to get some explanations. I'm not going to go away until you give me some explanations. What is this place? And I want to see your license. Do you have any license for this? I can get this out of here in like 15 minutes. <laughs> uh, why is she talking to this lady instead of being the only corroborating witness that screams without evidence? <laughs> yeah, I know. The New York Times needs to get a hold of her. She saw it. She saw it happen. It's crazy because like they just couldn't find one like coherent testimony and here she is literally both inside of israel and also gaza on october 7 saw all the rapes was there it's so weird please go, please oh yeah go i'll down. do it don't please worry go i'm gonna down. do it anyway just i'm trying to give you some time to get time before i get the, the people here to get this up i just want to dance again because this will get out in 15 minutes really please go ahead okay i'll do it do you have any explanations before i do that because I will do it. 
We're raising money for a 501c3 Mecca. Dude, I swear to God, bro. I like, like Israel defenders think everywhere they can do e Israel shit everywhere, and and then when they can't get away with doing Israel shit in like America, they get so mad. They're like, "What? What do you mean I can't do Israel shit here? Like, I don't understand." Hello, excuse me. I'm going to call the manager on this table right now. I'm going to call the cops here, and they're going to come in and pack your shit up. You're going to jail. Have fun in Sedate Mon concentration camp, sweetie. It's like, this is, this is not, you're in the middle of New York, man. Like, you can't, you're just annoying people. Okay. Who helps children. Amazing. What children? Children in Gaza. What happened to them? She's like, I don't know. Please tell me. Well, I thought she was in Gaza. Maybe she would have. I'm surprised. She's like, there's no children in Gaza. I was there. They're all terror babies. I'm not. You don't know. I, you do things without knowing what you're doing. They have been named. They have been bombed. They have by who? no. By, by who? Israel. No. Girl, listen Girl, to me. Girl, please. <laughs> Wait, what? Shy David disagrees with you. Get the f away. You're actually want... pissing me off I now. Care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. You don't know what you're doing. You have no answers. I ask you questions. You don't know how to answer them. You, you only tell me, like, have a good day. You have no answers. You have no... Listen to yourselves, please. You don't know what you're doing. You're supporting rape. You're supporting murder. That's what you're doing right now. When you have this here... This it scares me to see young people act like this. Like, what about the future? Nah, there's plenty of anti-Zionist Jews, man. Like, it's more shocking to me when I see, like, evangelical Christians behave this way than to see someone who's Jewish behave this way because, like, at least they were brainwashed from a very early age. You know what I mean? It blows my, it blows my mind when you hear, like, quote-unquote atheists behave this way. People who are just, like, people who didn't go to... Uh, a school where they taught you that the Holocaust will literally happen every single day if Israel doesn't exist. You know what I mean? Like, it just doesn't... Yeah, the 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 people anti-Zionist tabling are probably Jewish. Like... <laughs> this is the flag of Lebanon. They've been bombing Israel for a year now. One of those theories was on the Jets, the New York Jets. Can you believe it? He had the patch, Robert Salek. <laughs> Can you believe it? Now the thing is, what you're doing here is just wrong. Really, it's wrong and what you're doing here, I, I bless you with only goodness, really, with, with only happiness. I'm, I'm a Jew and all I want for you is to be happy, really, to be loved and to be happy. And, this is just what you're doing here is just madness and you know nothing you know nothing the genocide of mania in israel is so terrifying has really broken the brains of the birthright of american jews whole thread is insanity i'm sorry for the graphic content which is which i really tend not to do but everyone should watch these videos that came out this morning this is from alan lee green from uh omdin Be'echad. Um, an Israeli peace activist shares a video of Palestinian children burning alive after an Israeli missile hits a hospital. Let's see the response from the Israelis and hit translate post. This is Yair, Yair Oriel, former director of digital at Israeli TV channel 14. Each such bomb reduces by 0.1% the chance of a massacre where they will rape and burn us. Now calculate how many of these are needed to prevent the massacre for sure. And let's get to work. This is Dr. Rafi Kishon. According to his bio, he is a multidisciplinary lecturer. He lists his interests as including animals and smiles. As soon as the abductees return safe and sound and the leaders of Hamas are handed over to Israel on their terms, then I recommend stopping. But not a moment before. Whoever feels sorry for the Nazis in the, and the Nazis will slaughter him and his children. This is Lailak Leibovic. She claims to be addressed as Her Highness. Do people burn alive? I only see people taking pictures on their phones. Here's Ezra Youssef, a VP in business development. Here's an Israeli who now lives in San Francisco. That's how wars are. Oh, yes. And we haven't started. And one more thing. They can end it whenever they want. Release the hostages and surrender. This person's bio is superhero. Go to hell with them. How else 
full-time mom. How else do they have smartphones? Is it from the humanitarian aid? Their bio is absolute victory. Beloved, let them learn next time before you go out to kill, rape, slaughter, burn Jews. As simple as that. Her bio is mother and wife, secular and a proud Jew from the center of the country, loves Israel. I know that Kahan was not wrong. Wow. Uh, uh, Mayor Kahan, supporter out in the wild. Cool. Let life burn. There is no mercy for murderers and their descendants who in time will be murderers themselves. Like, this is just, this is literally just Nazi shit. This is Hitler. This is Adolf Hitler. Okay? Adolf Hitler, don't be sorry. On the contrary, show us more such good things. Let them burn all of Gaza for what they did to us. This is a psychologist. <laughs> they claim to live somewhere in the Holy Land. As long as the abductees are not with us and terrorist families are in Gaza, then for my part, every day, there will be dozens or hundreds of such fires until the abductees return and security returns. This is justice. Stopping it. It's up to Hamas and GAP and their ilk. This man claims to be a social democratic leftist. Right. Suggesting that the people in the video get together and find the wretched Hamas terrorists who are hiding, drown them in the sea, collect all the weapons and ammunition left in the strip, and hand it over to the idea of an established rule of life and peace. Simple. Yanni Gidron. What is the solution that my lord proposes to remove Hamas from power in Gaza? Because as long as Hamas remains ruler of Gaza, there's a moral obligation to continue the war even at the cost of dead Palestinian children. This is clear and obvious to everyone. So what is their solution, Alon? What do you suggest that hasn't been tried yet? Since then, we have slaughtered you and will continue to slaughter them. Dirty mice. Thanks for reminding me why you should be kicked out. Being a Kahanist, by the way, is being like a Salafist jihadist. It's a word for word, exact same thing. Kahan was so bad, even the most racist Zionist thought he was a bit too bloodthirsty. Yes. He was designated as a terrorist in Israel, okay? And his followers were also designated as terrorists in Israel before Benjamin Netanyahu brought them into the governing coalition, Itamar ben Gavir being one of them. It is nutty, dude. Anyway. Can I go? You've given us much to think about. We appreciate the conversation. You didn't, you didn't even talk to me. Exactly. I'm not trying to bother you. All I'm trying to do is to understand. So please give me information. There's not a chance you would actually, in good faith, try to understand. I'm not even trying to do anything. I'm just trying to talk to them, and they don't even know. Isn't Kahan a far right extremist? Guys, Mayor Kahan and his followers are considered terrorists by the American State Department and the Israeli government. Okay? Like, for the longest time, for the longest time, they were considered <laughs> the Israeli government that thinks the Nakba was a necessary evil considered those guys to be too much. As a matter of fact, anytime you see that same granulated footage shot with a Motorola razor phone of like some Jewish dude, some Orthodox Jewish dude talking about how like the Goyim are cows. Okay. That is the one Kahanis meetup that they were able to film. Anytime a Nazi literally shows that, that footage that is so common in like Nazi circles to be like, this is exactly how all Jews think. Like they literally, they, that is, those are Kahanis. Yes. It's the, it's the guy who, uh, shot up, uh, Baruch Goldstein was a Kahanist who shot up uh, and, and killed 29 Palestinians uh, that were praying uh, in, the, in the mosque. Now, they recently got removed from the terror watch list. Saying that they've been inactive. The United States in 2022 removed the ultranationalist Israeli group Kahane Chai from its list of foreign terrorist organizations. If you see that yellow fist with the star of David around it. That is the Kahana symbol. Did he get away with it? No, they killed him. Uh, they beat the, sh they beat the living dog shit out of him and murdered him on the spot. Good. He deserved it. Okay. In an act of, you know, self-defense, obviously. Um, he still has a, Itamar ben, had his, uh, Itamar ben Gavir had his photo in his house, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was Baruch Goldstein's uh, photo that he had in his house, right? 
and he's still worshipped in Israel, especially amongst uh, settlers. Um, another another part of their group is the JDL, Jewish Defense League, which is like the Klan, okay? And their political representation now is uh, their political representation now is is basically the Jewish Power Party, Itamar Ben Gvir's party, Jewish Power Party. It's literally the same. Like it's like white power, JDL, EDL, English Defense League, Jewish Defense League. Okay. They are straight up Jewish Nazis. There is still a shrine to him in the West Bank, and they often put, I guess, rocks around it. To uh, they often put rocks around it to in 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 order to celebrate him. A relative of Mayor Kahan literally tried, yeah, relative of notorious Mayor Kahan arrested for trying to ram pro Palestinian protesters in Manhattan. Reuven Kahan, relative of Mayor Kahan, an extremist rabbi who was banned from Israeli politics for racism and ultimately assassinated, was charged with assault in the second degree. I wonder what happened to him. This was uh, obviously in the beginning of 2024 in May. It was Goldstein. He was asked what he told his children about that man, and he said he's a saint. Also, the JDL was in America. Praise and celebration of Kahan is very prevalent among settlers in the outpost. People were outraged about the New York Times featuring the Gaza doctors in their testimonies. New York Times makes a statement. Times opinion rigorously edited this guest essay before publication, verifying the accounts and imagery throughout supporting photographic and video evidence and file metadata. We also vetted the doctors and nurses' credentials, including that they had traveled to and worked in Gaza as claimed. When questions arose about the veracity of images included in the essay, we did additional work to review our previous findings. We, ha we stand behind this essay and the research underpinning it. Any implication that its images are fabricated is simply false. Could you please explain why you assume that people who persistently deny Gaza militants well-documented presence in the hospitals where they work are credible sources of information? This seems like it has been a systematic issue in your newsroom throughout the war. <clears throat> yeah. This was uh, the New York Times post about uh the uh, i believe what is it 59 doctors and nurses that came back from gaza to tell the harrowing tale the essay in question yeah 65 doctors nurses and paramedics what we saw in gaza those are unmistakably x-ray photographs provided by dr mimi sied who worked in khan yunis from august 8th to september 5th she said I had multiple pediatric patients, mostly under the age of 12, who were shot in the head or the left side of the chest. Usually, these were single shots. The patients came in either dead or critical and died shortly after arriving. This went nutty mode on Twitter, on Elon Musk's Twitter. The reader picks comments on the opinion piece are actually pretty solid. I can't, I don't see where it is. Doctors that came back stated that they have literally never seen, like they've never treated this many children, okay? I worked as a trauma surgeon in Gaza from March 25th to April 8th. I volunteered in Ukraine and Haiti. I grew up in Flint, Michigan. I've seen violence and worked in conflict zones. But of the many things that stood out about working in a hospital in Gaza, one got to me. Nearly every day I was there, I saw a new young child who had been shot in the head or the chest, virtually all of whom went on to die 13 in total this is from one doctor at the time <clears throat> i assumed this had to be the work of a particularly sadistic soldier located nearby but after returning home i met an emergency medicine physician who had worked in a different hospital in gaza two months before me i couldn't believe the number of kids i saw shot in the head i told him to my surprise he responded yeah me too every single day an enormous amount of information about the extent of the devastation in Gaza has been gleaned from satellite data, humanitarian organizations, and Gaza's Ministry of Health. However, Israel does not allow journalists or human rights investigators into Gaza outside of a very small number of embedded reporting trips with the Israeli military, and stories from Palestinian journalists in Gaza have not been read widely enough despite the incredible risks they take in reporting there. The New York Times, by the way, make no mistake, played an enormous role in making sure that all of that bloodshed was normalized by the broadest American readership possible every single day. Make no mistake. This is them playing catch up because they recognize that 
This is the type of lie that you cannot maintain for this long. Just so you understand, New York Times still does ongoing contextualization of Israeli violence and war crimes on a regular basis. They still do it to this day. In Lebanon, they do it all the time. In Gaza, they do it as well. I told you months ago that inevitably the house of cards that was built to justify Israel's bloodshed would inevitably fall. Part of that is because we now, as a consequence of the internet, can watch the genocide take place in real time. Okay? There is not a day that has gone by where I have went back on my statements since October 8. These people are basically trying to play catch up in an effort to maintain what kind of, what shred of credibility that remains for them. An entire generation of Western newspaper readers are gone. They will most likely never trust the New York Times with the same level of trust that previous generations afforded to it ever again. And they deserve to lose this credibility. They did this. They expended any matter of credibility that they had every single day as they justified and contextualized Israel's genocide. But there's a group of independent observers who have seen this war from the ground day after day, volunteer healthcare workers. Through personal contacts in the medical community and a good deal of searching online, I was able to get in touch with American healthcare workers who have served in Gaza since October 7th, 2023. Many have familial or religious ties to the Middle East. Others, like me, do not, but felt compelled to volunteer in Gaza for a variety of reasons. Using questions based on my own observations and my conversations with fellow doctors and nurses, I worked with Time's Opinion to poll 65 healthcare workers about what they had seen in Gaza. 57, including myself, were willing to share their experiences on the record. The other eight participated anonymously, either because they have family in Gaza or the West Bank, or because they fear workplace retaliation. This is what we saw. 44 doctors, nurses, and paramedics saw multiple cases of preteen children who had been shot in the head or chest in Gaza. 63 doctors, nurses, and paramedics observed severe malnutrition in patients, Palestinian medical workers, and the general population. 52 doctors, nurses, and paramedics observed nearly universal psychiatric distress in young children and saw some who were suicidal or said they wished they had died. Today, the official line Bankivir takes is more careful than he used to be, only saying Kahan was right about some things, but he shouldn't have generalized all Arabs. Still, he is a dumb brute. It's ironic because he's also Arab himself. But, of course, in the, in the eyes of the state of Israel, he is not. He is Mizrahi Jew, despite the fact that he is from Iraq, Kurdish Arab Itamar ben Gavir. Anyway, still he's a dumb brute and will do things like give speeches in front of the writing that praises Khan and Goldstein or offer Khan's nephew to be his chief of staff. Smaltrich is slightly less careful, famous for shit like telling Palestinian MPs, you're only here by accident because Ben Girion didn't finish the job. Or some other choice words such as, I don't want my wife giving birth next to an Arab, a Palestinian citizen of Israel, by the way, because that person will inevitably kill my, uh, my wife and children. Or... Uh, one of my favorites from uh, Smotrich uh, was when he said, I'm a homophobic fascist. It's funny because he's the he's one of the only MPs to acknowledge the Nakba. Yeah, but of course, in a Benny Morris style, I suspect that he says it's a good thing and wants to do more of it. Bill, uh, Bill Smoke Crackman says, again, the New York Times publishes an article accusing Israel of barbaric war crimes using evidence to post X-ray images of Israeli bullets lodged in Palestinian children's heads. I've seen multiple posts debunking the New York Times piece, but this is one of the most thorough analysis worth a careful read. Yes, Bill, American doctors flew halfway across the planet to get help uh, to go help random people in a war zone stage photos of an X-ray in order to come back to America and publish these photos in the New York Times. Makes sense. Yeah, Zionists also tried to take down the article. And they also tried to attack the veracity of the reporting, which is really interesting because I didn't hear them chirp about uh, Screams Without Evidence, the famous New York Times article that was so controversial that New York Times' own editorial team were like, this does not meet the standards of reporting. What the f*** are you doing, New York Times? Only to still obviously put forward the interview. And then inevitably suspending the person who wrote the, uh, not interview, sorry, the article uh, for <laughs> saying unhinged shit about Arabs and, and Palestinians in general. Remember that? That was cool. Anyway, um, let me hear from one of my... Now, 
New York Times is writing. Uh, New York Times wrote this article. Uh, everyone yelled at it, but I want to hear what my favorite, uh, what my favorite smart people have to say. Noah Opinion, Noah Smith, if you recall, famously invented BDS himself. No Opinion also, in the early days of October in 2023, had come up with a different solution, a four-state solution or a three-state solution. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Idiot. Israel does enough bad stuff that the Palestine people don't need to lie, and yet they do lie all the time about everything. The bullets are too perfectly formed in the photos. Trust me, still time to delete your post here. <laughs> Emily Schrader is like a Laura Loomer level insane liar. Noah desperately wants to position himself as a canny, non-psychotic defender of Israel, but he's too stupid and blinded by racial animus to realize he's thrown in his lot with a complete huckster bullshit artist. Yep. Oh. They did verify the photos, by the way. The New York Times did. Of course they did. Do you think the New York Times is going to... Do you think the New York Times is going to write something that is critical of Israel without making sure that it is 100% accurate? The very same New York Times that has written unhinged screeds that in defense of Israel time and time again with no evidence whatsoever to play a very important role in manufacturing consent for Israel's genocide... Of course, the New York Times is not going to write anything that is even remotely critical of Israel without making sure that it's damn near 100% accurate. Okay? Happy Shai Davide has been banned from Columbia University's campus for harassment day to all who celebrate. Like, in some ways, in some ways, I am a little sad about it. I am a little sad about it because, like, his... Advocacy for Israel is genuinely a burden for Israel. Like him, him and like Rabbi Shmuley go so far in the direction of, of, of being an annoying little pest that most people are just like, yeah, dog, whatever you're for, I'm against. Okay. Like whatever you're advocating for, I'm the, the opposite. Like you could get me. You could get me to be pro like the Ayatollahs <laughs> or you're, you're against it. Okay. I'm for it now. You know what I mean? I have now converted to Shia Islam. <laughs> How long will it take for him to cry on Fox news about it tonight, tomorrow? I don't know. It appears Shai Davide has been banned from Columbia campus for harassing students. That's not the reason. Yeah. They took him down for. Hey! Okay. Okay. <laughs> what the? Who is this guy? Shy Davide. What can I say about Shy Davide that hasn't been said already? Shy Davide is the uh, 38-year-old boy uh, to, uh, I believe, defense contractors, if I'm not mistaken, who happens to be a professor at Columbia University. And since October 7, he has been popping the off implying that there's a secret worse reason yeah no his reasoning is because he's jewish like he's gonna say that i'm letting you know that he is gonna say columbia university is anti-semitic and that he was banned for being jewish shy davide has been suspended from columbia campus for harassing students this has been the plan the entire time in order to file a lawsuit i guarantee this will happen in the next few weeks not for that <laughs> someone said oh so the sexual misconduct charges are true I heard it was because you pooped yourself. Um, so when he says not for that, doesn't that imply that he did do that, but he didn't get banned for that? He's throwing a tantrum. So update about Columbia. You all saw in October. He also looks like shit. Like he literally, he looks noticeably worse since he went down this like, public clown route like how it started how it's going i am straight i am white i am a male but let this be clear no matter what any court says women have a right to control their own bodies i am not white <laughs> over seventh what happened <laughs> wait he's like y you all know what happened on october 7th and what happened in columbia today when i got banned for pooping my pants outside of the common hall and then routinely screaming, 
I poop my pants and it's because of anti-Semitism over and over again. And then the authorities came in and violently apprehended me. It was kind of like another October 7. My personal October 7. You saw them not just praising the October 7 massacre, but actually celebrating it. You saw me standing there where I was allowed to stand while an onslaught of anti-Jewish, anti-Israeli, anti-American students and professors kind of marched toward me. You saw the assistant director of public safety, Bobby Loud, doing nothing, even when- Oh, he's talking about, he's talking about when he was standing and the students were like marching next to him. And he was like, you see this? They're attacking me. They're elbowing me. They're attacking me. And then he turned around and went to the like deputy director and was like, you know, <laughs> you are just like the Nazis. Does anyone have that video? It was so good. It was so good. He said, you are just like the, the, the guards at the concentration camp. And a Jewish student is telling him that she's afraid. You saw the COO of Columbia University, Mr. Cass Holloway, do absolutely nothing. By the way, he's been blocked from entering campus for a brief moment before. This is 1938, says Israeli professor blocked from entering Columbia's main campus. <laughs> dude, you are such, you are such a flop merchant, dude. Like, the people say la flop, but come on, dude. He is, he is straight up. He is tossing flops left and right. This is harder than anyone you have ever seen you uh, this is harder he flops harder than anyone you've ever seen like every soccer professional okay every time every time dude here this is the video i was looking for <laughs> columbia university shy davide attempted to go pro palestine students at uh and school administrators by equating accusations of being <laughs> that's what he was talking about when he said they're hitting me it's amazing how the assistant director of public safety will not see the number of elbow bit i just got to my and my the kicks to my shin you are such a useless administrator but you know what there were so many useless administrators in nazi germany He's saying you're a useless administrator akin to Nazi Germany. Yeah, this is how the Holocaust happened. Okay, so many, so many in the Gestapo were just walking by Jewish people and slightly grazed them. And that's how the Holocaust happened. Like, what are you saying? Kicks to my shit. We are Jewish. We are proud. Mahmoud and we are going to be loud. <laughs> yeah, the famous, the famous Holocaust poem. First, they kicked me in the shin as they were walking past me, and I didn't, and I didn't say anything. Uh, this is, yeah. Twitch, please. I can't believe you guys are not stopping this man. When he is showing clearly <laughs> a gross anti-Semitic violent hate crime. <laughs> uh, remember when Shy went mask off raises at ta Coast just two days ago? I've tried to keep my comment on our brave Jewish hero mocking because uh, that's what he mostly deserves. But this is straight up racism and the kind of thing that has gotten black men killed throughout U.S. history. ta Coates is not above raping young women at a music festival in the name of, name of resistance. That's the headline. Everything else is commentary. Wow. I hadn't even seen that shit. To be God damn. Out. We are Jewish. We are proud. We are going to be loud. We are Jewish. We are proud. We are going to be loud. Oh, that's really racist. Wow. <laughs> wow. All right, let's keep going. Today I was supposed to be 
Well, actually, right now, I was supposed to be at the School of Social Work at Columbia, where the Jewish students are holding their own memorial service for the senseless violence of October 7th. But then I got a call from my lawyer. Come on, dog. It's been a year plus, you know, a year of genocide. Like, you already abused the memory of the victims of October 7th enough, I think. Like, at this point, it's like, who is this for? You know, this is, you've abused their memory enough to, to continue advocating for a genocide that is ongoing, that has been ongoing for the past 12 months. Like, come on, give it a, give it a rest. Okay. Give it a rest. Jesus Christ. Bro literally did this, but unironically. Finish reading the message by ta Coates. And you know what? Shame on you, ta He spends the entire last chapters of that book talking about how Israel is doing Jim Crow and is an apartheid state without ever once mentioning why sometimes uh, Jim Crow and apartheid is good, actually. It felt like a book you'd find in the backpack of an extremist or, or like the Coco Melon lunchbox of a terrorist <laughs> or the Fisher Price jumperoo of a neo Nazi. Unbelievable. You think because you went to Israel for 10 days that you can say Israel is bad and doing settler colonialism? That is an insult to me who went to Israel for 10 days on birthright and learned that Israel is good and belongs to me. I used to respect <laughs> you, man. I used to think you were like a liberal, like when you talked about dismantling white supremacy. I didn't think you meant it like <laughs> some sort of communist. You're not supposed to mean it. You're supposed to just say it and then do nothing about it. It's so irresponsible for you as a black man to write about Israel being a racist apartheid state. Because like, what if you convince other black people of this and turn black people against us? I have spent my entire <laughs> life protesting police brutality. So yes, it's Matt Leave. He's joking. He's making fun of a very specific type of, I would think this is satire is crazy. No, it is, man. He's guys, this is Matt Leave, friend of the show. Okay, the reason why you think this is real is because he is repeating a lot of the very real things that pop off on Twitter. He's just simply making fun of how stupid these statements are. This is satire. Supporting Black Lives Matter, uh, voting for Obama, and you're making it really hard for me to launder my support of a racist Jewish ethno state by pretending to be an anti-racist, okay? It's like you just want me to be anti-black. And <laughs> you know what? I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I'm thinking about it hard. I just can't understand how a <laughs> black American can't be a fan of Zionism. Like, you should love it. Like, when I racistly tell you to go back to Africa, wouldn't it be nice to actually have a country of your own to go to? It would be nice for me, I'll tell you that much. Man, I would have to listen to that rap music. At the end of the day, I just think <laughs> this is not something that he should be talking about um, or anyone should be talking about. If it, and if we all just like take a step back, wait you know, a few years or something, then revisit this later, we will all have a much more level head and all be able to come together and say, yeah, that was, that was f***ed up. <laughs> That's f***ed up what they did to the Palestinians. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. It's, it's, it'll be much easier for me to launder my support for the racist apartheid genocidal regime once, they, once we let the racist apartheid regime finish its genocide. Come on now. I've literally heard Zion say, why should I keep supporting LGBTQIA plus people when they're protesting for Palestine? That's awesome. It's, it's very, it's very transactional. Anyway, um, let's finish this one. Who says that the university has decided to not allow me to be on campus anymore. No <laughs> job. Yeah, dude. Cause you suck. Okay. They were like, come on dog. We love Israel. We are, li by the way, the university he's talking about is Columbia. Okay. They've basically made it illegal to be Palestinian on campus. Okay. <laughs> like, so when he turns around and he's like, oh my God, look at how anti-Semitic Columbia is. When they're straight up 
building a campus on uh, in Tel Aviv, okay? And they are simultaneously working very hard to, to basically make it illegal to be Arab, Muslim presenting, uh, <laughs> inside of campus grounds. It makes it even funnier. There are cops all around the campus. Uh, they, they basically forcibly removed with the entire might of the NYPD anti-terrorism unit. Um, IDF sperm retrieval unit dispatched to Shai Davide's combo. Condo. Why? Because of October 7th. Because I was not afraid to stand up to the hateful mob. And because I was not afraid yeah. to expose Mr. Cass Holloway for not doing anything about it. This is the same Cass Holloway that in March, when students brought in to Colombia, Sami Doon, which is today recognized as a terrorist organization, and Khaled Barakat, who is today recognized as a terrorist in the US and Canada. God, that's awesome, dude. That's great. That's, that's awesome. I'm so glad. I'm so glad that the State Department launders whatever the f these dipshits want. Sami Dune, by the way, is the Palestinian Prisoner Solidarity Network. So, of course, it is recognized as a terror group. <laughs> yeah. Treasury Department designates anti-Israel group Sami Dune as a sham charity with ties to terrorism. They do this all the time. Okay. The designation builds on U.S. efforts to target terror funding networks connected to Hamas. I love this shit, dude. Uh, always, always. Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, it, it's it, Hamas is funding college campus protesters. This is the same Cass Holloway that did nothing about it. This is the same Cass Holloway that when the students at Columbia University announced that violence is the only path forward and that they stand with the armed resistance meaning the terrorists did absolutely nothing this is the same cast holloway that allowed these students for three weeks last year to terrorize the entire campus creating a so-called liberated zone that was only liberated from israelis and jews who refused to denounce their identity this is the same cast holloway who for more than a year has done absolutely nothing. You know why? Because Cass Holloway is not Jewish. Because Cass Holloway's kids are not Jewish. Because Cass Holloway doesn't give a f That's crazy, man. Like, the f are you saying? <laughs> Every institution must be completely controlled, not by Jews, but like specifically Zionist Jews, is a wild thing to just openly say. That's cool. Cass Holloway thinks that if he pushes shy away his problems are over cass this message is for you i'm not going anywhere and you you can go f yourself until we meet at court <laughs> um shy seems like the kind of guy to go postal nah he's he's yeah, when he goes postal, he just huffs into a paper bag, dog. What are you talking about? He's a ginormous pussy. It looks like he hasn't eaten since October 7. What are you talking about? He literally cried that people walked near him and they were wearing kafias. okay? He ain't going to do shit. It's also a, a very common, uh, normal thing to do to refer to yourself in the third person. Shy is not going away. <laughs> Bitch. Whenever I see any unhinged shit coming from this weirdo, I go back to the video of him being punched in the face by a hostage family member. Wait, what? Something like that exists and I didn't know about this? Can you please explain that to me? Can you please show me that? Be careful, Habibi. You might get one of these love letters yourself, Lamau. What the f are you talking about? You think I don't already receive that? What do you mean? I got 27,000 love letters when I uh, attended USC campus, when I was invited to go speak at USC campus. Fuck you mean? Like, what are you talking about? I've been called anti-Semite of the week. Oh, 
this this wasn't the hostage families, dog. This is a fucking. This is in 2023. This is uh, not even in 2023 when they were doing the anti-government protest. <laughs> yeah, that's different. No, this is. I mean, it's still funny, but ah. <sighs> They got 20,000 emails for something you didn't even publicly announce. Yeah, I didn't publicly announce it for that reason, by the way, which is kind of funny that they still found out about it and were fucking crying about it and it still didn't work. Anyway. <laughs>